In the parsha we're going to be reading this week in Eretz Yisrael, Parshas Baaloscha, the pasuk begins, "Daber el Aaron v'amartai lo Baaloscha saniros el mul pnei hamenora yeiru shivas saniros." And Rashi points out that where is el mul pnei hamenora? Talking about the ner emtzai, talking about the middle candle. And the question that's raised is, so then why does it say yeiru shivas saniros? Why does it say that seven candles will be pointing that way? It's not seven. It would only be six. The Nasi of the Yeshiva of Greenberg Shlita brings down a beautiful Svarno based on a Gemara in Chulin and Zafzadik Beis. The Gemara in Chulin tells us that Am Yisrael is compared to the grapes, compared to a vineyard, where every component of the grapes, every single one, whether it be the leaves, or whether it be the small little saplings, or whether it be the grapes themselves, the bundles are all needed in terms of the flourishing and blossoming of the grapes. So too Amiso. Amiso requires all of the different components. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about the people that are learning in Yeshiva, the Rabbanim, or whether you're talking about the people working, the people who are not so necessarily observant even. Every single person in Amiso is important for the cloud. And this is something unbelievable. The Svarno says that that's exactly what it means when it comes to the Yo'iru Shiva Saneros. That when what? When everyone comes together, no matter what side you are, whether you're on the left or the right, whether you're in the knowledgeable or not knowledgeable, when they all come together, all Shiva Saneros are, are shining. And they're shining towards where? They're shining towards Am Yisrael. They're shining towards Klal Yisrael to give the proper direction and to give the proper, proper hachvana for the general Klal. I think this is a beautiful idea to keep in mind as we finished all of the Chagim of Chodesh Iyar, as well as getting through Shavuot and even Parshas Naso, which is being read in Chutz Laaretz. Chodesh, Chodesh Iyar is a time when we talk about, what well, when we talk about how Klal Yisrael is coming together. Kibbutz HaGaliot, Yom HaTzma'ot, Yom Yerushalayim, all of the different days that were coming together as a nation. And Parshas Naso, where we talk about at the very, very end, when we talk about the Chanukah Samizbeach, with all the different Nasiyim, bringing the exact same thing, to show that it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're coming from this Shevet or this Shevet. We are all joining forces together. Not, not to judge anybody else, but rather to come together as one, which obviously we celebrated on Shavuot with Vayichan Shem Yisrael Neged Ahar, a holiday that we brought together that we were able to be Makabo the Torah in a unified way. This is, without a question, one of the most important lessons to take forward with us no matter what. And that is that we should stay unified, the Achtus of Klal Yisrael, no matter who you are, no matter what part and what sect you associate with, you are all important in Klal Yisrael. And when we recognize that with our neighbors, we can truly, truly bring Be'ezrat Hashem, Mashiach Tzirkeinu. Amen. Good Shabbos.